So we got the bikes loaded, we've got the cooler, we're all ready for a road trip down I-70 in Colorado. <laughs> One of the prettiest drives there is through Colorado. So if you really want to see Colorado, take I-70 through Denver all the way over to Utah today on Colorado Martini Living. So, we're on our way on a road trip. Did you pack the vodka? It's in the well. <laughs> Does that make it well drinks? So of all the states in the United States, Colorado is one of the prettiest states there is. And as you can see, the Rocky Mountains is one of the things that makes Colorado so beautiful. So as you leave Denver, You'll um, pass the Golden Exit 265 Exit, and Golden is where Coors um, home base is. It's a wonderful old western town, and it's a great place to have lunch on the main street. So if you're looking for a place to stop, definitely get off at Golden, and it's on the north side of the freeway if you're coming west. Now, coming up on our left is a place where you can see dinosaur fossils. I, it's called Dinosaur Ridge, and it is one of the best specimens of dinosaur footprints um, I've had the, the pleasure of seeing. Um, so it's definitely worth a stop. Uh, they do have tour buses that you can take. Um, or you can hike through and see the dinosaur tracks and bones. And this is just outside of Morrison, um, Colorado, and Golden, Colorado. So Morrison, uh, we're traveling west. Morrison is on, um, to our south, and Golden is to our north. To go to Dinosaur Ridge, you want to get off on exit 259 to Morrison. And if you're traveling west, you want to go south on that road. This that road will also take you to um, will take you to Red Rocks. So Red Rocks Amphitheater. It was voted one of the best music venues in the nation. In the nation, make sure that when you go, that you be aware about where you park. If you have problems climbing stairs, definitely park at the top parking lots. Otherwise, park at the base. Um, it's definitely a look-see to see this amphitheater. Um, it's just absolutely amazing. They have a wonderful museum at the top of the amphitheater um, that is definitely worth seeing. So we're coming up to exit 256, which is Buffalo Bill's Grave and Museum on Lookout Mountain. Um, that is um, a great, absolutely beautiful view of Golden and the area, um, and is worth stopping uh, to see Buffalo Bill Cody's um, grave. And the museum is a wonderful Western museum, so definitely um, take a look at that. So you also want to stop at the Buffalo Herd um, Lookout, uh, which is just past the Lookout Mountain turnoff. Um, it's at the Genesee Park turnoff, which is exit 554. Um, so when you get off the freeway, you want to turn left. You can actually see these buffalo um, on either side of the freeway, um, but usually the best viewing is on the south side. And there is view. an absolutely beautiful view as you get off the freeway and this is where the vistas are just absolutely beautiful. So when you get off the freeway, you turn to the left and then you go to the right. You should be above the right. And there's a lookout just up this road.
So we just left um, the Buffalo Herd that's owned by the city of Denver. And now we're getting back on the I-70 and we're traveling uh, west. Uh, the next thing up is Evergreen. Evergreen is this absolutely beautiful town. Uh, you pretty much have to go off the freeway to see the town itself. Um, but if you're looking for a place to eat, Evergreen is really pretty. Um, there is also white buffalo, which are very sacred to the Native Americans in Evergreen. And Ted Nugent. <laughs> and Ted Nugent. And Ted Nugent. <laughs> um, I'll put a link down below on how to find those. So we're at exit 253 and we're um, getting near to Evergreen, which is exit 252. And that would be the exit that you get off of uh, to see the white buffalo at the Memorial Park. Um, again, I will put a link down below in the description on where that white buffalo is located. And be on the lookout for a video that we'll be putting out about the buffalo and the, especially the white buffalo. And there's going to be a little surprise in that because um, we're actually meeting up with some other YouTubers. What a lot of people don't know is that there is an area in Colorado that has legalized gambling and that's Black Hawk and Central City. And so you are traveling along the turnoff um, to those two towns. Uh, Mr. Martini and I usually go to Black Hawk. Um, it's really beautiful up there. It's an old mining town. The road to it is right there. Um, and it has a very distinctive turn off um, just around the corner here. So now you're starting to see water um, on your south side of the freeway, which is Clear Creek. Um, it's wonderful for rafting and we are start entering um, the tunnel area. So this is the first tunnel that you'll go through. Um, be warned that there's usually a lot of traffic in this area as you're coming into Idaho Springs. But if you have time, definitely stop in the town of Idaho Springs. Um, there's wonderful restaurants to eat at. Um, and the main street is a lot of fun just to kind of go in and out of the stores. Um, so it's definitely worth a stop. So if you want to go to Idaho Springs, you're going to get off at exit 241. There's also some great old mines that you can tour in Idaho Springs, which is, you know, they're a lot of fun. So here's the Argo mine. Uh, you can actually take, um, tours. Um, so this used to be a gold mine and I've actually haven't taken it and I hear it's really really cool. So we always like to stop here and have lunch. We haven't had a bad meal in this town. I recommend Tommy Knockers. The Tommy Knockers is really good. This Buffalo's is very good. Uh, Westbound Down um, is a, actually a brewery and really good. Um, one of the more popular places with families is Bojo's. Um, it's what they Bijou's? No, it's Bojo's. Um, it's what they call Colorado style pizza. I don't have to. Um, so here's Bojo's, and it's it's kind of neat place to take your kids. Good um, pizza. Yeah, it's there's it's very entertaining inside. But definitely stop at Idaho Springs and walk through the town. Um, there's a lot of great stores and um, I've just always enjoyed um, stopping here. And as you can see, it's a pretty popular place to stop. Um, Tommy Knockers is down here. It's also a brewery and uh, they have excellent food. I just, I haven't had a bad meal in this town. That guy just said, hey, let's go to Bee Juice. He did not. Did too. <laughs> Tommy Knockers. It's Bojo's. <laughs> we have this fight every time about what it's called. You also want to check out Mount Evans if you have time. It is a big climb to the top of Mount Evans, but you will see mountain goats at the top of Mount Evans. Yeah. Go along the I-70, you'll see a lot of evidence of mining. 
Um, if you look up in the hills, you'll see a lot of these tailings that come off the side of the mountains. Um, and that was mining back in the day, gold and silver mining. Um, there still are some people that mine these areas, um, but you'll, you'll see older structures on the side of the hills as you're traveling through. Coming into Georgetown, which is a wonderful historic town, but one of the things that you can see in Georgetown is big horn sheep. They have a wonderful viewing area to see the sheep, but if you look up in the hills around this area, um, you're supposed to be able to see them. You can definitely see traces of them, their paths, but Mr. Martini and I have had most luck finding the bighorn sheep by just getting off the freeway at Georgetown and they're like right there at the exit. So let's see if maybe we can see them. One right off the freeway, he's right there. that's right on I-70 and that is the Loveland Ski Resort. It literally sits on top of the tunnel. Um, it's an area ski resort where a lot of locals ski because it's a hop, skip and a jump from the Denver area. Um, so it's very easy to get to. Um, you can see the runs right there. Um, so a lot of people come up here in the winter time. So we're coming up to the Eisenhower Tunnel. We are at 10,926 feet. The Eisenhower Tunnel was quite an engineering feat. And one way is Eisenhower and the other is the Johnson Tunnel. So going west is Eisenhower and coming east is the Johnson. And here we go. So we are going through the mountain right now. And it's a pretty lengthy tunnel. just gone through the tunnel and you come upon a pretty steep grade. Um, we're at 11,240 feet. Now the one thing about the tunnel is it's the Continental Divide. And what the Continental Divide is, is it basically marks where rivers start flowing different directions. So in other words, on the east side, of the Eisenhower Tunnel, all rivers flow to the Atlantic. So they eventually somehow make it to the Atlantic Ocean. All the rivers on the west side of the tunnel flow to the Pacific Ocean. So one way or another, they make it to the Pacific Ocean. And basically that's what the Continental Divide is, is that it is marking the place where the rivers run a different direction to a different ocean. So we're coming into a valley area where the town of Frisco is. Um, Frisco is a nice little town. It's a great place to stop for um, lunch. There's also a huge reservoir called Dillon Lake and there's also a Silverthorn. Uh, where you can stop at outlet stores or you know pick up a bite to eat 
Um, there's a wonderful coffee house on the right on the north side of the freeway that sits right on the creek, um, and it's a nice place to have a cup of coffee. So it's absolutely beautiful in this valley, and it's also the turnoff to Breckenridge. Who do who? Yes, I love Breckenridge. It's one of my favorite towns. And it's Breckenridge is, if you didn't catch our dog sledding video, it's uh, where we go dog sledding. In Frisco sits right on Lake Dillon, which is a really nice area. And then off to the south here is Breckenridge about Oh, it takes you about 10, 15 minutes from here. So just past Frisco, you're gonna start coming up to Copper Mountain Ski Resort and Vail. Now the one thing about this area is where you start seeing all the aspen trees. That's what all this is right here. They haven't gotten their leaves yet. But if you are here in the fall, so September and October, it's absolutely beautiful up here because of the aspen trees. So right here is Copper Mountain. Copper Mountain's claim to fame is this is where the U.S. Olympic ski team trains. And the prettiest rest stop around. We're on the Vail Summit, looking back at Copper Mountain. So just on the south side here is the main Vail Village. Um, you definitely have to get off the freeway and park um, to go into the village to see it. It's definitely worth seeing. It's not a village that you can really drive through. You have to walk through it and park in the parking structure. So we're on our way east towards Glenwood Springs. And this area is not as pretty as the mountain area, but just wait for it. Wait for it, wait for it. So we're entering Glenwood Canyon. This canyon is absolutely beautiful. That is the Colorado River that's to our left. So river cut the canyon. River cut the canyon. So the Colorado River didn't just cut the Grand Canyon, it did the Glenwood Canyon also. That sneaky river, yeah. I bet it cut a lot of canyons. One of the amazing things about this canyon is, believe it or not, is this freeway that runs through it. Um, it basically hangs on the edge of the canyon. There was a lot of controversy about building this. Well, they didn't want to cut the walls of the canyon mm -hmm. for the road. Well, just so this was their compromise. Keep the canyon narrow. Arriving at our destination for the night, Glenwood Canyon Resort. Where the huskies go, don't you eat that yellow snow. <laughs> okay, so how's our gas mileage going down this grade? Well, I haven't touched the gas. I'm currently getting 99 miles per gallon <laughs> in my V8 Hemi. <laughs> There you go. 99, 99 miles per gallon in your car. You can't beat that, man. What's the name of this valley, Patrick? Uh, that'd be the Vale Valley. The Vale Valley. Yeah. And what's in Vale Valley? Uh, vale. Oh, okay, Mr. Obvious. Make sure to check out the links in the description. They help support this channel. And thank you so much for coming by. You have no idea how much we appreciate it.